What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another blog and today I'm going to be exploring one of my favorite cities in New Jersey and the United States after New York City, which is Jersey City, right across the Hudson River from New York City. So I'm going to focus on three main neighborhoods, which is the downtown Newport and this change place. I already covered different areas of this city, like Journal Square, the high school. This is a big city, you know, and it has like any other city, good and bad areas, but a lot of good things happening over here. So we're going to start this walking tour around downtown Jersey City and make our way towards another neighborhood so I'm gonna take you guys with me so join me so this neighborhood is pretty accessible to the PATH train station which it's about a 15 minute ride to Manhattan and then once you get off of Gold Street this is the main plaza over here with street banders so they developed the neighborhood pretty well and in the summertime they used to do and and on Wednesdays like an activity over here so I'm gonna start walking to the main avenue Newark Avenue which goes all the way to Journal Square but this over here is pretty developed Oh, we got a Puerto Rican artist over here. We got some nice stuff happening here. But yeah, I'm gonna walk, make my way over that way and then show you guys the architecture over here. So I'm walking around Newark Avenue and I don't know, it's been a long time since they've been trying to develop this. It's supposed to be a pedestrian alley. You can see the beautiful shops and everything, and the architecture is just gorgeous. But I don't know, though, I don't know why it takes so long, because it's been like a year since I walked here and this was developing. So you got a construction noise going on, so it's going to interrupt my, you know. But yeah, other than that, you can admire the beautiful architecture that this building has. So you know there's a lot of history here in downtown Jersey City. collection of architecture and like little by little they develop the business over here so you got like small shops everything pizzeria I wonder how the pizza in Jersey City tastes like you can see how it's gonna look so far it's looking pretty good so I believe when it's all over it's gonna be like an Instagram spot because you see all the architecture and the skyscrapers over there and they have a nice nightlife here in downtown Jersey City. And not too far from here is another city that I like in New Jersey, which is Hoboken. And it kind of resembles also like downtown over here with the brownstone buildings. But yeah, I made a video over there not much ago. I did a bike video before this one, so if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, let's keep exploring this beautiful neighborhood. This part is pretty much done. Pretty beautiful. And another thing is that in September, they do one of my favorite festivals here in Jersey City, which is all about downtown. Last year they did it after one year of not doing it because of the pandemic. And I gotta say, I really had a blast. I had a good time exploring the festival. You know, they had music, all kinds of food, you know, events. So diverse, because that's another thing about Jersey City, that it's one of the most diverse cities, not only in the States, but in the whole world, you know, after Queens, I believe. And then here you can see like a 99 cent store. So you know the neighborhood it used to be different back then, but they changed it. And then over here you're gonna admire some street art. But I gotta say, this pedestrian plaza so far, it's not finished, but it's looking pretty good so far. And then you go over here, you get a view, you know, of the downtown area, so it's gorgeous. It'll be a classic, little by little people hanging out over here, then you got some street art. It ain't a many block if there's no street art. Purple and blue, really awesome. And then this neighborhood is pretty much known for the brownstone buildings. So you go some parts of the neighborhood and it kind of resembles a little bit of Brooklyn, New York or some other neighborhood in New York. Because this is not too far from the city, it's right across the river. And then they got like a lot of restaurants over here, like they got a pizzeria, Helen's Pizza, Thai Chinese food over here, Gypsy Grill, Miso Ramen. I'm a fan of Miso Ramen. But now I think I'm just going to make a detour to another street and show you how the brownstone looks like over here. So there is a page on Facebook that I follow that is catered to New York City and people from abroad I want to visit or they get like tips like what to do and it's their first time coming over here. And I saw in one of the comments, you know, people were asking, like they were kind of debating if they should make a trip here to Jersey City. Is it worth it to come here? And a lot of people were saying like no, but in my opinion, as a guy that doesn't live far from here and has been here many times, I think it's worth it if you have enough time to take a day and come to Jersey City. Like I say, it's only like a 15 minute path ride from New York City over here. And then look what you got around here. You got a beautiful neighborhood. 
a beautiful architecture. And this is just one neighborhood. There's many types of neighborhood in New York City. I mean, there's many types of neighborhood in Jersey City. And then also, Jersey City has some of the best views of Manhattan skyline and the Hudson River. But you're gonna see that at the end of the video. But now we're just gonna focus and walk around here. And then here, like I say, here's the brownstone buildings. If you go to Hoboken, which is not far from here, it's like this too. And then one thing about New Jersey, about Jersey City is that they, they have decorations like this when you're in a different section of Jersey City. And I think it's more organized and a little bit more chilled in New York City and cleaner too, so. So I gotta say the street is really beautiful, full with nature and trees, you can see. And it's like a quiet vibe, you know. And of course, the beautiful architecture, as you know, I'm a fan of beautiful architecture, especially old buildings. But now ahead of me is Hamilton Park. Well, <laughs> a beautiful park here in Jersey City. Kind of resembles like the one in Hoboken too, you know. And you know, you're gonna see a lot of people with their families, with the dogs, a part where you could just chill, you know, and enjoy the views. And now we're here, the real estate is really expensive, but it's always good to visit. Like I said, it's not far from the city and I don't live far from here, so I'm just gonna walk around and show you a bit of the park. Now here you can see the entrance and the beautiful fountain. And then they do like a market here, I guess on Wednesdays, or pretty much like the one they do in Union Square, but they got their own. Jersey City version of market. It goes around the gazebo. And you can see there's a lot of people over here and the weather's just perfect, like 70 degrees, not hot, not cold. So I don't really hang out here pretty often, but I should, and I say it's not even far from where I live and it's just beautiful to walk around, especially when the weather's nice. Just to chill and take it easy over here. And you enjoy the park and you enjoy like beautiful architecture over here. But now I'm gonna make my way to Newport, which is in the other side of, of this neighborhood. And it's not far, the only thing that divides it is like the uh, road, Luis Muñoz Marin Boulevard, and the Newport Mall. Then on the other side of the Newport Mall is the Newport District, and you're gonna get some nice views in New York City. I gotta say, I love the spring, I love the weather. The only thing I don't like about the spring is the pollen. It just gets me really bad, especially my eyes and my nose. It's just crazy, so it kinda, Makes me not enjoy the day, but I try to manage it pretty well. But that's it. So now I'm making my way to the newer part of the downtown in Jersey City. Like I say, this is a historic downtown, but then ahead of me is Newport. The Newport Mall and then Newport District is on the other side. And that's where you're gonna see some high-rise skyscrapers. They got some decent hotels around here, and then all the skyscrapers are like the borderline of Newport with its changed place. Then the river's over there, and then the other side is Manhattan. So I gotta make my way. It's been a minute since I've been in Newport, but it's always a good neighborhood to visit. I think the last time I went to Newport was when I made that video with Action Kid. I was featuring his channel, which it was really nice of him. But now I'm just gonna cross this busy street and go to the other side and show you. So over here, I made it to the other section, which is Newport. A pretty much developed neighborhood, mixed use area, you know, with residential area, stores, and they cover like a mall over here. And also the Pat train station is right there too, so. You jump on the patching and within minutes you're already in the city. So I'm gonna show you what's around here, so join me. So this is a really cool section in Jersey City. And you can see it's pretty developed and they got even bike lanes, which I think one day I'm gonna do a, a bike ride here in Jersey City, which I already did Hoboken, a few spots in Manhattan. But then you can see they got a couple of hotels over here and that's the Path train station over there, which takes you to other areas of Jersey and New York City. And then they got a big hotel over here, the Courtyard by Marriott. So it's pretty convenient. And then maybe it might be, if you're trying to come to New York City, but you can't pay the price. Maybe it might be a little bit more affordable on this side. You could stay around here and then the train is right there and you'll be in New York City. Like I say, this is the Courtyard Marriott Hotel. 
Then you got a nice little walk over here. And it's crazy, this is like an urban area with skyscrapers, but you can see how quiet it is, like not too many noise. And it's funny because the river is right there in New York City, it's right on the other side. So it's just like a really different vibe. Then ahead of me is the Western Hotel. So they got a couple of hotels over here and options. But now I'm gonna make my way to the waterfront, which is being a minute since I've been in this side of the waterfront. And I'm gonna show you guys what's happening. I'm gonna show you the best part of this section of Newport. But you see a regular neighborhood like this, but then over here, da da, New York City. And the waterfront. So like I say, it's been a minute that I've been here now. I almost forgot where it was the waterfront. So I think it's over that side, so I gotta go back. This side is this change page, which I'm gonna make my way over there and do the grand finale. Oh, a little bit of ducks, and there's like some little birds over there too. They're just literally just chilling. It's like a family. <laughs> I think it's cute. Oh, this is the other side where they got this residential buildings, but then in between you can walk by and get a nice view of the city. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's been a minute since I've been here. So here I am making it to the waterfront. And always beautiful. This over here that you see is actually downtown Jersey City. And that's Manhattan over there. And one funny thing, I see the ducks floating in the water. I think that's just hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a different vibe over here. And pretty quiet and you get all this beauty right here ahead, you know? But yeah. But let me just show you these ducks over here, how they're just floating in the water. <laughs> I think that's actually really funny. But let's walk to the end and see what can we find. Pretty nice view of Newport in the city, but now I think I'm gonna make it to the other side, exchange place, where you're gonna get an even better view of lower Manhattan. I could walk about, I think I'm gonna take the light well which is only two stops away. So I'm gonna catch you guys in a bit. So I changed my mind. I decided to do what I know how to do best, which is walking. I don't think it's that far. And you know, I do a lot of it is walking miles. So why not just walk? It's, the weather is perfect. And that way I get a view of the city in this area. So I'm gonna make it all the way to this change place and show you guys what's happening over that side. And then here you can admire Newport. And here's another hotel Westing. And like I can say this is covered with bike lanes. So it'll be a perfect video to do a bike vlog. Maybe I could bike a lot of neighbors in Jersey City, but then, yeah. And this resembles a lot of cities that I've been in the United States, that it has tall, modern skyscrapers like this, but the streets are like empty, not too many people. But yeah, it's still beautiful to explore around, so I'm gonna catch you guys on the other side. So now I'm entering the border of Exchange Plate, which is mostly skyscrapers, you know, office buildings, some residential areas. They got a lot of high-rise buildings over here, but not too much activity. That's a light rail over there, which will take you to other areas like West New York, Union City, Bayonne, and some parts of Jersey City too. So I'm gonna make my right walk towards the end and end up the video by the waterfront. You see here in Jersey City, they develop a lot of skyscrapers. So if you go to Battery Park in New York City, this is the side that you're gonna see all this balance over here. And this is what it looks like when you're here. A more quiet vibe over here. This is Harborside Light Rail Station. Over there, you can go and take the ferry to New York City too. I think the ferry, and I'm not sure if you could take it to Statue of Liberty. Also, Liberty State Park is in the other side, and you get some epic views of New York City, man. There goes the light rail. And also, you can rent the city bikes here also, and ride your bike around. I think it's a really good area to ride your bike. Also, over here, this area gets really crowded when they do the 4th of July, because you get like the best views of New York City and the best views of the fireworks. So, if you plan to do it, come here early, that way you can enjoy it and be indoors. Sometimes they put a stage there and bring performers that they seen. So I did it like a couple of years ago and it was pretty, it was pretty fun, you know, it's like a really good vibe. The waterfront is right here and the PATH station is right there. So you can see there's about three PATH stations in Jersey City and then this is a hotel, the High Regency. So I guess if you stay there, you're gonna get a nice view 
of Manhattan, but let's make it over that side and see what can we find. So it looks like there's actually a marathon happening over here. So I see a lot of people, I see the start line, not sure what's going on. I'm gonna go over this way to capture the view. So that was the end of my video exploring the beautiful city of Jersey City. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.